Hi, I'm Professor Stephanie. And in this video, we're going to draw a mug and add the handle, a very dramatic handle uh, to the mug. And we're going to keep this one point perspective story going, okay? Uh, this is my preliminary drawing. I want to be showing you all that I work. I, I play around first before I do a video. Um, you can see I started here. I did another one. And then these two down here, I really liked the shape that I went to. And I thought, oh, let's do this a little bit different than what's in the book. So I'm going to draw a different shape mug. Same kind of big old chunky handle. But part of what I want to demonstrate here is that I went from you know, sort of a boring mug to a really funky mug, and then I went. So this process of drawing and thinking and doing is very important, and why learning the skill of hand drawing, again, sketching, if you want to call it sketching, is really important in this design process. So I did get started uh, with a, uh, a pencil drawing. Uh, I will uh, tell you my truth is that uh, cylinders are very difficult for me. I've always had trouble with them. It's interesting. I've been teaching this a long time and many students uh, do great with them. They don't need any guides. They don't need, they just do it. And I'm like very thrilled at that, but I'm one that needs guys. <laughs> so that said, let me show you uh, where I started. I've got a pencil line that's the middle of this cylinder shape. And what I like to do is I also like to find the center because I like to go from just short. There we go. <laughs> Notice, oops, I have a lot of stress in my voice. Okay, so for me, I, I have to think in terms of All right, so I'm going to I'm going to go with it. It's a little easier for me then to come in with this edge. All right, and let me, I actually have a giant mug here to show you to use. So what I just drew in my mind is this outside edge first and then the inside edge. Mugs, things have two lines when we represent them. So we've got the outside line and the inside line, okay? Now, my mug shape isn't going to be anything like this one, but that said, uh, then, so now I've got my top, and what happens here is I'm then going to use a guide from, there's my outside edge, and here's my outside edge here. I, I've determined a, uh, the, the size, the length of my mug, and I'm using guide points for the bottom, all right? So it's even with this, which I think is typical of a mug. I have my center, and then I'm going to look to the center on both sides. Now, the uh, shape, I have a little bit of a curve in and curve out, and there are a couple of key places where I curve, curve in, and then I start to curve out. So I, I sort of got, I'm going to think about this shape here. Great, all right, so here we go. Do what I can. Then to imitate this, I've got a couple of guides here. Okay, probably wanted to do that in pencil because we're gonna wanna lose what is happening there. All right, so there's my mug shape, and now we're gonna add this um, big old chunky handle. And I, I'm showing you this because, and I'm actually going to put this down here too. This is, this is where we're going. See if I can cover that up. What's happening here is I'm going to get this shape here, this flat front, and then the top. And I see, I probably see some of the side. Okay. So this is what we're going for. We're going for this kind of a shape. There's my flat front, top, side, and then inside right here. Flat front, top, side, and I actually, not only is there bottom area, there's a top area. And we'll just see how that works out in reference to what your, um, what it looks like for you and how that you manage that. 
All right, so the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to, and you can use your T-square if you want, I'm going to create a flat front. Okay. And then in there, on this mug, I'm going to kind of have a pretend vanishing point out here. And it's not even really a vanishing point. as they, they really look very parallel, and I don't have any problem with that. I think that will work out very nicely. I will try to imitate this here. So here's this box shape. Again, the box shape is right here. We're going to make this shape on the inside of the box. So when I look at that, and I don't, it, you all may want to keep your book open, it goes up and around. There's some thickness here. It goes up and around and like that. I'm sorry that this is hard to see with this line here. There's a part of me that wants to, beep, beep, beep. this would be not be there. Anyway, okay, so now we've got and this, and so I'm going to leave this because I'm going to let my marker curve that back. So I've angled out this way. I'm going to angle this way. I'm going to angle there. And that's how I get this. So here's where my marker comes in. Oops, I actually want to curve this as a matter of fact so that this is going to be curved. Let me see if I can remember that here. Curving this. I'm going to curve this there. All right, see, I can just, I need, I needed my corner there, but I could lose part of that. Okay, so there we go. Here's this. Flat front. And there's our shape so that I can go back and erase. Now the other thing that happens here uh, is that you can add a little shade and shadow if you want. Uh, it would be great the sun, this sun is coming from here. I like to think of a single the sun. Hmm. Nope the sun is not coming from there. Whoops! <laughs> I did not think about this before I started. Okay, the sun on this particular mug is coming from here, from here, and so we get shade, shade, and then shadow down here. So I apologize for that initial mix up. And it would kind of curve like this. And again, you know, I don't mind starting with pencil and getting a feel for what I want that to look like and then coming back with marker. And then, let's see, this would probably curve. As a matter of fact, the other thing I'm gonna add here quickly is a base for this. In other words, let's put this mug on a table. That's important to me that objects sit on a table. So here is in shadow. I really like to work with lines that touch. And then this might have a curve here. And our shadow is darker. More to it. And shadows also start dark and as they move out they get lighter. Very quick, quick study. So you may want to spend a little bit more time than I am. Okay, thank you.